Here's a submission from Cassiolum, who has a QAVR, well, the QAVR replica, little b20 amp ESCs, 2204, 2400 kV motors, and has something weird happening with flips and rolls. Some crashes are happening. Let's take a look at the log and see if we can figure out what's happening. The first thing I'll try to do is identify where the crash occurred. I'll do that by zooming out. I've got the gyros up here, but hopefully it'll be obvious where the crash is occurring. Probably at the end. Yeah, looks a little bit crashy there. Um, yep, here we've got, we go into a roll, full stick deflection here. And then some crazy stuff happens with the stick and throttle down. I'm guessing that's where you crashed. And probably here is the copter tumbling and rolling across the, the ground. So um, let's now pull up your, let's pull up your motors. The next place I think we should go is your motors. Because oftentimes when there's a crash after a flip or roll, it has to do with the motors. And we'll zoom on in here and look at what happened. Yep, and throttle goes up, throttle goes down, stick goes over, and boom. And motor number, oh, bring that back. Motor number three, the back left motor goes to full. Now, we've discussed this before, and I'll discuss it again, because not everybody watches every single one of my videos, so uh, say it enough times, hopefully it'll stick. When you see a motor go to full in clean flight, what that indicates to you almost always is that the motor has, has ceased to make thrust. Remember that the clean flight motor traces show you what clean flight is commanding, not what the motor is actually doing. When you see a motor go to full and stay there, it almost always means that the motor has stopped making thrust. Now, in theory, it could mean that you, you've gone to full throttle and the motor is actually supposed to be full at full throttle, but that's clearly not what's happening here. Notice that as this motor hits full throttle, the other motors quickly drop off. Motor number uh, four drops off rapidly, and that is to compensate for a difference in thrust here. We don't want the copter to, to pitch. Cop no pitch, well, a little bit of pitch is being commanded. And so the flight controller is trying to keep the copter's attitude as commanded. And these motors also quickly drop off and then the tries to keep it all even. And then suddenly, look what happens now. This motor comes back in and this motor goes to full. So now this motor is making thrust because now that it's making thrust, we don't the flight controller doesn't have to demand full throttle from it. And this motor goes to full. And now this motor is presumably not making thrust. And then as you return the stick, now your throttle is up. You're flying, I guess. There's several things that's weird about this. One is that this motor goes to full, indicating it's not making thrust. But then that motor goes to full. Oh, it's... Oh. So this motor goes to full. Maybe it's not that this motor is showing that you're not making any thrust. Maybe you're making some thrust, but it's just not enough. Usually this indicates that the motor has failed, but you are in a right roll. So therefore, the left-hand motor spinning up is the correct response. And now, as you begin to center the stick, ish, ish, this motor goes to full, and that one stops. It's very strange, though, that those motors are going to full, It's, and it's the uh, counterclockwise spinning motors that are both going to full. The back left when you go into the move and the front right when you come out of the move. And then you just have a mess here and it's all over. Let's take a look at your, since it's the counterclockwise spinning motors that are behaving oddly, let's take a look at the yaw axis since yaw changes always involve motors spin that are spinning the same direction and i see that your p term as you go into this move this is very interesting so your yaw p term goes strongly negative even though you're not putting in any yaw input and that starts to explain why this motor is maxing out because this motor is being asked to perform the roll input, but it's also being asked to perform a yaw input, and, and so it only has so much authority. 
This motor spins down to keep the uh, yaw and roll balanced as being commanded. See, so notice how negative we are here. Very negative. As you start to return the throttle, this motor spins down, and now yaw is still negative. We still need to counteract. That's why, we're, yeah, I was right. The reason that the counterclockwise spinning motors are both having the problem is because the whole time the, you need to have this, uh, it's going to be a right, a right yaw force. But the question is, why is right yaw needed when the stick is centered? And the answer is that as you go into this move, the yaw gyro goes positive, which would indicate that the copter is yawing when it's not being commanded to yaw. So the yaw p-term is doing the correct thing. We see that the yaw gyro goes up, indicating the copter is yawing, even though it's not being commanded to yaw. And therefore, the p-term goes negative, and it's trying to cancel this out. That explains why your motors spin up the way they do. But the question is, why does the copter begin to yaw when you are commanding roll? And in fact, does the copter begin to yaw? It seems like you would have mentioned that whenever I roll, the copter also yaws. And this is not a small amount of yaw. This is a lot of yaw. Do we have a degrees per second here? 110 degrees per second. So that's, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's see, one turn every three seconds, roughly. I mean, it's not a ridiculous spin out, but it's not nothing. And it gets up to 400 degrees per second. So now we're at over one turn per second. That seems like the kind of thing you would notice, and I'm surprised you didn't mention it in your post. So is this the beginning of the crash right here? This moment right here, when the yaw gyro goes positive, that must be the beginning of the crash. But you don't center the stick. It sure looks like you're continuing to do your move. And now you're, are you trying to recover here? How long is that? Are you trying to fly out of it? I guess so. That must be where the problem happened, right here. You did a roll and the copter started flipping out. Why did the copter start flipping out? Boom. Do you see that motor go to full right there? Right there, it goes to full immediately. Why does it go to full? Let's look at the roll pids and the motors. Why does it go to full? It goes very quickly to full, right there. It's not the roll P term that did it. I is zero on the roll axis, and the roll P term, it's climbing, but it doesn't spike right there. So why did the motor spike? Is it because of this yaw? There was a sudden change in the yaw P term there. And pitch P goes up as well. You have pitch, you have some crazy coupling here. Notice again, now you are giving some forward pitch right here. But notice that the pitch gyro is at negative 93 degrees per second. That's, that's actually backwards. You're just flipping out here. Yeah, so you're pitching at 100 degrees per second. You're rolling at 300 degrees per second. You're yawing at, or you're, you're, sorry, you're yawing at 300 degrees per second, 400 degrees per second. You're rolling, which is the only thing you are commanding. And the PID loops are flipping out trying to, because you're not commanding any of that. So there's just this moment right here where the copter flips out. The fact that the motors go to full is not a, the cause of the problem. It's an effect of the problem. The motors go to full because this, at this moment, the copter flipped out and the PID loop is trying to unflip it and uh and failing okay so the motor's going to full is, is the symptom it's the effect not the cause so why did the copter flip out i don't know
There's nothing in your black box that tells me anything about why it flipped out. It's just this moment here where it flipped out, and it flipped out on all three axes, well, two axes, pitch and yaw. It was, you were already rolling. Um, it flipped out at the beginning of the move. Oftentimes, a copter will flip out at the end of a move because the motors have been idling, and then suddenly they're asked to spin up and arrest the flip, the roll or the flip, and uh, and they can't do it. They get up. It's commonly called a desync, although it may or may not actually be a desync. Regardless, uh, in this case, you were going into the move. You drop the throttle, and you're going into the move, and then boom, boom. It just flips out. Right here. You haven't even reached full deflection yet. I, I'm sorry to say that we're in a trial and error mode here. Uh, there's nothing in your black box log that indicates why the copter flipped out. So the good news is it doesn't look like, you know, a low min throttle or any of that. There's no, t the PID loop all seems to be doing the right thing, which is trying it, but, and failing, unfortunately, to counteract the motor, the copter flipping out. These motors are going to full. They're not generating thrust. So the question to answer is why the motors suddenly stopped. Why? It's not just that they stopped generating thrust, though. Why were you, like, you were yawing left? Why did you begin yawing left? Did a motor fail? Let's think this through. We're pitching backwards. So you're yawing left, you're pitching back, you're yawing left. That should identify a motor. Pitching back means that one of the back motors stopped making thrust. Yawing left, the back left motor stopped making thrust. Because the back left motor is spinning counterclockwise, therefore it's pushing the copter to the right. It's yawing left. So okay, so the back left motor stopped making thrust. So in this scenario, I think we have to conclude that. I don't know why, but that's where you should investigate. All right. <laughs> Happy flying.